All right, let's add a few more items to our form. And I'm going to explain to you a few more things. All right. Now, as was mentioned, if you're clicked on the element itself, like there are check boxes here, the ID here does not necessarily correspond to what text the user is going to see. So the ID is simply for um, our benefit, the creator. So we can make the ID whatever we want or simply modify the text here, as we mentioned, um, directly. Now, another thing you may notice is the initial state. We have it as unchecked. Now, why would you want it initially checked? Well, you've been on websites where <laughs> you don't know that you're committing to something. Maybe it says, you know, to install the program you wanted, click yes, but hidden you'll see um, an already checked box that says, you know, also install this with it. And if you don't look, um, you'll install something perhaps you didn't anticipate or desire. So, that's what it, you can make the initial state checked. So, in other words, if they overlook it, aren't looking closely enough, they're going to submit with a choice already made. So it's kind of sneaky, but now you know how to do it. We can make the initial state checked. But in this case, with this particular one, um, I'm going to leave the initial state as unchecked. All right. Let's add some radio buttons. So let's go to Insert, Form, and let's add a radio button. And let's make this one, do you... I'm going to call it opinion. Do you consider yourself a great writer? All right. And do I want this label, which is what the user is going to see, remember, different than ID. Do we want this label to be positioned after the element or before? Well, in this, question, in this case, we're asking a question, and I want the question to be before the actual element or radio button. So, I want that label before the radio button. There we go. Now, after the radio button, I'm going to put yes, and then space, and I'm going to insert another radio button. Now, you don't need to, by the way, because you might have a question where it's left blank, and it, said, it might say, um, click here if, if you want this. And maybe all you're going to see is one radio button, and so it's either blank or filled in. But if you do have two radio buttons, remember, you can only pick one or the other. That is, the user can only pick one or the other. So let's go and insert another radio button. I'm going to call it... Opinion 2, and I'm just going to say no. Now, in this case, I want the label to be after. So, let's hit OK, like so. So, now, do you consider yourself a great writer? They're forced to choose either yes or no. I know, it's kind of an unfair question, but anyway, as an example, there it is. And of course, if we click on each of these elements, we also again have the option to default one of them. In other words, just like over here with the check boxes, um, we can default to yes. So let's say we want to be positive. So when the person pulls up the form, that's what they're going to see initially, um, that I'm assuming you're a great writer. All right. Now, one more element we're going to insert here, and that is our multiple choice list menu all right so this is I'm gonna name this experience and I'm gonna say how long have you been writing and I want the label to be before my drop-down box hit OK and now well 
why don't we see anything in our drop down box? Well, we have to click on that element. And now here under properties, we have to go to list values, edit list values. So here's what we would determine, where we would determine what's in our drop down box. So I'm going to say um, one year or less. Now we can continue to add more values and by going one, two, three years. And then I'm going to click add again. Three, two, five years. Add again. And then maybe five plus years. Like so. Now once we have, we can keep adding however many options we want. And we can reorder them here also. So let's say we wanted to move one to the top. So that would be the first one a person sees. But in this case, I, I put them in in the order that I wanted them. One year or less, one to three years, three to five, and then five plus. So then we hit OK. And there they are. Now I'm going to show you what the difference is between type and list in one second. But let's preview this now. Control S and then F12. Now, of course, we have our check boxes, right? Um, this is defaulted to the yes, but I could choose no. Remember, it, has to, it picks one or the other, so forcing you in between. And now, how long have you been writing? Now we have our, our drop-downs that we created. You've seen these on sites, super common. All right, now let's change the option on this to instead of menu type, we want list type. So let's make sure this is still selected, that element. But now we're going to choose list, and when we choose list, this becomes ungrayed out. So height, basically, how many do you want to display of that list? Well, we entered four in there. So I'm going to go four, and then tab, and now you see it expands it out. So it doesn't force the user to have to click and drop down in order to see their choices. In other words, they're all displayed, or however many of them you wanted displayed, um, you determine here with height. So now let's hit Control S to save, F12, preview, and now we see they're all displayed there. And we could choose one, but it is forcing you to pick one or the other. You can only pick one from the list. But you do have the option of changing that again. If we go back in here and we check this box, allow multiple. Now, a lot of times you see this on sites, maybe job search sites, where you may be selecting multiple things. Like it says, you know, what cities do you want to look for jobs in? And you might have like five. Well, all right, let's hit Control S, F12 to preview. And now you, well, you're saying, wait, I can't choose multiple. That's because you're not holding Control down as you click. So or shift or control well control all doesn't work but um, shift and holding down control as you click allows you to pick multiple so like I said sometimes on job sites or, or other sites you know you can choose multiple and then search in this case how long have you been writing it doesn't make sense that a person's gonna pick more than one so and I also don't like the, this list look for this particular form, so I'm going to go back to Menu. I'm going to uncheck that, and I'm going to just go back to Menu. I could have just gone back to Menu, but I unchecked it first. All right, so there we go. There's a few more elements we've added to our form page.